Hello and welcome to Kelly Loves K-Pop. I am Kelly. We're gonna try this video again. This is a year ahead forecast for Stray Kids. Uh, for some reason, last time I tried recording this, my camera just dumped the entire file. So uh, I don't know what happened. So we're gonna do it again. Uh, let me go ahead and prep this real quick. Since we're almost done with January, I'm gonna go ahead and just start this reading with February. Uh, it probably will be the last of my 2023 forecasts for the year. Uh, we've done quite a few. I tried to include more girl groups this year and um, some of the younger or newer boy groups. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it on Stray Kids. What's going on with Stray Kids in February? Queen of Swords, We've got the Two of Cups in reverse. Right. And the Two of Discs, we got two twos. Uh, there's an imbalance uh, going on from the immediate uh, thing jumping out at me. Queen of Swords usually means either someone can speak to defend themselves or someone's going to like plead their case. Um, I know, again, I know there's uh, something going on with Hyunjin that keeps kind of coming up for him. So I don't know if he'll speak out or the company might make a statement. Um, because they can feel the pressure kind of on them. But it does also, there might be something going on with straight kids that is also being like mishandled by the company. Uh, maybe might be two members are getting less opportunities than the others. There might be some favoritism going on. That's um, obvious because Two of Cups to me talks about kind of union. A lot of times it has to do with contracts. And the two of disc obviously means like time, resources, and um, valuable things. So yeah, I'm seeing people that are either, people are realizing some contracts might be different than others. So some people are getting opportunities that the others uh, don't get, or there's something where people are making adjustments currently to contracts. Um, I'm not sure. There's some kind of, it feels like some kind of negotiations going on between that company and maybe also statements going on with other things. It also worries me we might see another um, <clears throat> hiatus. There's something in this too, um, some kind of imbalance for, for people. It might mean like people are clashing, personalities are clashing, someone might just take a bit of time off. Yeah, it could be someone in the company clashing or like two personalities. But February feels a bit... Um, like I said, an imbalance. Things aren't going the way that they, they planned for them in February. Let's look in March. <clears throat> Ace of Swords. Got that Two of Cups again. And take the top card. Got the Fool. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Ace of Swords and the Fool. Someone's working on a new idea, a new approach to something, um, it feels like solo work. Uh, again, either due to someone last month taking some time away or stepping away from something when they needed to. Um, someone else is maybe also taking that time for themselves or it could be the same person. Um, but there is like a separation of, and again, it could be a two, could be two people getting a chance to do uh, something unique, something different than they've been doing, showing a different side of themselves or getting to pursue a personal project they haven't gotten to yet. So March feels like better than February, um, you know, but also separate, individual. It doesn't feel so much like a teamwork idea going on, but it, it is leading someone on a new uh, unique journey that uh, they hadn't had the chance to pursue before opening up some time for that project. And then we have April. Let's see what's going on in April. Oops. The King of Swords. The Emperor. Again, structure, um, control, uh, vision, and knowing what you're doing and what you want to do. And the moon so something coming out of secrecy so maybe um 
things from the prior months are going to finally be coming out or someone is getting their vision, their own personal vision, kind of revealed to them uh, through their work. They're kind of having that epiphany of like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing or this is what really works for me. Um, so like a formula is being introduced, a structure, a safe space um, for this person who's finally coming to an understanding of what they want to do. Um, again, it could have been something to do with personal projects. It could be something to do with the group where someone is kind of now finding um, their way to stand out, feeling like their persona is more cemented. Maybe not feeling like they're following the others so much or having like their breakout moment or something uh, in a way. Like they're coming to the forefront finally after kind of maybe being a supporting member. It could be one of the younger members um, that's finally kind of gonna have their moment to shine. Maybe they'll get a special opportunity uh, granted to them. To, to stand out more. It does say the emperor, so that makes me feel like they're getting to shine within the structure. So this may not mean so much about the personal projects we were talking before. Maybe it is, but I don't feel so much. I feel like this is another thing within the group structure. Another member's gonna come forward and get like their time to shine. So maybe it could be the group coming together and saying, okay, like last year was, you know, Changbin's year, the year before was like Hyunjin's year, the year before was like Chan's year, like maybe it's like a time for them to like, okay, this member needs to come to the forefront, it's their time. So that's kind of what I'm seeing, um, that starting for someone in April. So let's see, uh, May, we're gonna go into May now for Straight Kids. What is going on? Also, if you like this video, please make sure uh, you like and subscribe and share it. Uh, it just helps the channel quite a lot if you don't mind you know if you have time to support if you just enjoy the video that's good too um, so may may for stray kids what's going on yeah, five one so a little bit of a conflict five to me is usually a conflict of like everyone has a different idea of where things should go universe uh, if it will be public, so either we might see two members kind of um, either showcase some kind of argument they had in the past, talk it about it, um, bring it up, or it could be like an ongoing conflict between them, again, making some oopsie and the public having to come in and say, hey, you need to change this thing that's going on. Um, Nine of Wands also means like, yeah, this happened because they had their defenses down or they didn't know they were being recorded, or they didn't think ahead this kind of happened in a moment where they hadn't put forethought because it's like they're left undefended. So that does make me feel like it's very public, whatever this is, whatever this oopsie or this conflict between them is, something public and there's like no recourse, like it's out. Could be something about them gets leaked, could be, again, like I said, they didn't, um, agree with each other, but there's something about it that feels public and they can't, what's done is done, right? Like they, they can't defend themselves in a way. So I don't know if it's necessarily something they did, but there is some kind of conflict around them uh, in May. What's happening for Stray Kids in June? Okay, we have Princess of Wands, High Priestess, and the Three. So this is teamwork. This is working together, kind of finding that vision for yourself. And Princess of Wands is creatively. So June feels like going back to the roots, going back to what you know. So it could be them releasing something that like really harkens back to debut era, or it could be them going to um, a creative process where they feel the most connected. So it could also be live performances, could be tour. Um, summertime lines up for that all the time. So usually when I see some kind of expansion or teamwork or working in June, I kind of always drift towards tour, but it could be them having some kind of throwback to their early days, to their debut, um, to what they feel like the most connected to. I feel like for a while they've been trying to expand uh, their brand, expand what they're doing, uh, but this might be some kind of throwback or mention or revisitation of that. I don't know if they'll, they could do another TV show uh, together, that kind of thing, kind of feeling like their original like survival show. 
unless there's some kind of revisitation to kingdom or something again where they get to be on there maybe as judges or something something higher up that's like it feels like advice is being given or taken so maybe some kind of show or again some kind of reconnection to something from their past um but they're working together july A few cards. It looks like five cards, so let's take them. Okay. There is a lot going on in June. You know, like I said, five cards flew out, so that kind of tells you right there. Um, someone begins another journey here. Judgment could mean an elevation or it could mean a transition into something else. Knight of Swords means someone's being like forced to slow down. They've just been like um, working and working or, or distracting themselves with busy work. Um, but it worries me with the tower in reverse. Usually in reverse, there is some kind of big life changing thing that happens. In reverse means you're more prepared for it. You kind of saw it coming and you kind of avert the worst of it. Um, in my readings anyway, and other readers might tell you, you know, different, everybody kind of has their own take, but to me, the tower means they saw something big coming and they're kind of trying to get ahead of it. Um, so it could be something public, um, again, and then the eight of wands. Yeah. These two cards talk about things like really slowing down. So we could see again, if there is a member taking another hiatus. I know I talked before about a pause, but that really felt more like a, a break, like just taking, like someone misses a performance. This feels like uh, July, we might see someone actually like take an extended hiatus again, because both of these cards really talk about, okay, whatever this is you've been um, kind of running away from is caught up with you. So I don't know. I don't want to like guess which member is going through something because it doesn't necessarily mean it's scandal related, but it could be something in their personal life they've been running away from or not dealing with very well. Um, and they really need to take care of this thing. Like their life's going to continue to grind to a halt until they handle this issue. And they might have to like step away to do that. It just feels if, if they don't step away to handle it, they're still going to like publicly have to go through this. And I just don't think someone's going to want to publicly go through it's such a major life changing event. Sometimes I do feel bad because it's like someone taking some time off because either a family member has passed or they're sick or or something like that. Like something like I said, just personal is going on. It doesn't necessarily mean scandal. Because uh, I'm not seeing a lot of like negative issue. I am seeing judgment. So it means like the public is going to kind of know. Um, because the way they deal with the public is going to change for this time in July. Um, but yeah, so sometimes they deal with something they saw coming and it kind of has to change, you know, their parent may be going through a divorce. I don't know. Just like there's something like big in their life changing that may make them have to slow down and, and stop kind of what they've been doing. I mean, it could mean the member that was doing solo stuff isn't getting a good reception. I mean, on the lightest, lighthearted part of that, it could just mean that. Like the tower meaning kind of like their hopes and dreams for being solo isn't going the way they planned. It could mean something like that, but I really feel like usually this leans on like a personal issue. But because we've had the full once before, I did. I don't want. I don't want to like exclude that maybe they're connected. But I don't know. My vibes are telling me it's something personal life related. So August. Okay, so we got strength in reverse. Impatience. Or our break in willpower. August. It's also interesting because I believe this is a Leo card. August is Leo season. So it could be something like that. Again, the fool. Again, the fool. This does feel like someone giving up on something, on a personal journey they were taking. Um, like I said, it could be a bad reception for something that they did. Um, could mean cancellations. Again, if they had uh, tours or this or that. 
uh, there could be like a cancellation, something that uh, they don't want to change, something they don't, they didn't want to give up. Because both of these cards would mean something you kind of worked hard for, and something that um, gives you your fulfillment. So kind of the opposite of what they were doing earlier in the year. That it's like okay, they're gonna go back to what fulfills them. This is like them having to break away from that again. Could be a single member. Could be multiple. Because this is Genesis and like one's the past and one's the future, I'm looking to see if that's um, more of what this is saying. I don't know. It feels like Stray Kids really is having a tough year uh, again this year. Because it could mean, yeah, some, something someone has been working hard for isn't going to happen. All right, September. September, what do you got for Stray Kids? From the top. Oops. Ten of Cups again. Oops. Justice and the Four of Cups. So again, if someone was having legal issues, if that was a part of the the issues for the year, for the previous months, maybe for that Tower card we had before, it does look like Justice uh, is in a good omen, is in a good position for them to win whatever case uh, they were against. So maybe. If someone is trying to slander them, if someone was causing problems, if they put, you know, press charges, uh, they will come out victorious in that. But it does look like, again, we're seeing they still had to kind of give up on that thing. Uh, it still feels like even though they've won, they still kind of had to sacrifice a lot to win. And then Four of Cups is like opportunities. It's almost like they gave something up to win, but then you know how when they say one door closes, another door opens, it's like that new opportunity is now waiting. So something they, they didn't know was gonna happen, but it's like once someone's name is cleared, suddenly they're getting opportunities like thrust upon them now, things they didn't even anticipate. So it's almost like not Wheel of Fortune good, but still pretty good. Like, okay, now that this is over with, things are returning to you. People are interested in working with you again or wanting something from you um, and offering you things. Like, you lost your 10, but now someone's still offering you four. And they're totally different. Like, I don't know. Like, opportunities just have opened up now due to this, even though they had to give up a lot to get there. So, better? So let's go for October. October for Stray Kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they come back and now it's like almost, we're back on track in October. Okay. Okay. Okay, this worries me a little bit, just not that they're, it's like they're coming out of a bad situation, they're getting offers, but it's like, I don't trust the people necessarily that are trying to work with them in this instance. It feels like someone who wants to control, because they have the Princess of Wands, which is your own personal passion, uh, your own uh, creative works a lot of times. Wanting in, someone who wants to control them and like contractually, control them or it's like manipulation like I'll give you what you want but I want the power or I want so I don't know if they show up in like a new contract with like an American or Western label or something I would be leery that they're not really making any money or something like that from it it would be like you know one of those exposure promises unfortunately like JYP as a label doesn't always do well with their like international when they try to branch out internationally, they don't always have good business practice, I should say. Um, and I still feel like they're just still dealing with that. I just, <laughs> I know that the company wants it so, so bad, but I just feel like every time they try, it just never pans out the way they thought it would. Like maybe it's getting better, but it's definitely not, it's definitely not there. Um, so there could be something like that, like a, a contract that really wants control over what they're putting out and what they're saying and what they're doing. It doesn't have to be for music, it could be for other things. Um, but it's like they're almost looking into it to kind of get back in like the 
good standing or good uh, public perception, that kind of thing. So it's like one of those looks good on the outside, but maybe the inside of this deal, whatever deal in October is kind of rotten. Or they're having some kind of promotion company work with them to promote them somewhere else. You know, it doesn't have to be Western. It could be somewhere in Asia that just um, not not a great company. I always do these things. I'm like, man, being an idol is just stressful. I don't know. I don't know if I could hang. So let's see uh, November for Stray Kids. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Let's see, we got two here. Okay. Kind of a balance of good and bad. The Wheel of Fortune, again, they're being dragged along to fulfill an obligation. It, it, they may still make some money in the process, but it does seem like they don't agree with what's going on um, and they're unable to walk away. So we're seeing that contract holding them in there. I do see them having more freedom or how, you know, they're maintaining their freedom of like what kind of music they're putting out. You know, like I said, the devil is in how much money people are making off of them or controlling them in some other way. It doesn't seem like creatively they're being too controlled in November. Uh, and again, the high priestess means they're, they're really locked into what they want to do creatively. They definitely are following kind of what they feel is right. But yeah, I'm just seeing some aftermath of some either bad contracts or bad um, legal obligations they're having to fill. Just some conflict again and what they want to do and they can't walk away from it and they don't feel like it's the best suited um, for them. Again, sometimes your company makes you fulfill obligations. You don't necessarily have a choice in the matter, um, but something like that. Or they're working, they got a commercial deal, CF deal with some company that's not paying them, wants to, to you know, uh, micromanage them when it comes to that or something. I don't know. There's some kind of weird obligation there but musically i think they might have a comeback or a release of some kind that uh does well you know and is along the lines of what they like to do so good and bad a mixed bag in november what's going on for stray kids in december Ooh, okay okay so it looks like these wanted to turn over could be like the completion we saw this card upright a number of times so maybe those um <clears throat> new journeys they took this year kind of get to come to fruition completion uh in december uh seven of wands to me kind of means like taking the high road um even if people disagree with you you're like following your heart and you're fighting like the good fight um so in reverse it can kind of feel like that's being taken away a little bit more. And it could mean just along the month, either they're gonna be kind of quiet, quiet at that time of year, next year, or that they're kind of disconnected uh, from as much public availability as they would normally have. So, I mean, a lot of times groups go quiet that time of year too because they've got so many year end performances and award shows and stuff, they're just working on things a lot and it could be something like that just they're not as accessible as they normally are because I know Stray Kids are one of those groups that like really talk to their fans all the time at least a few few members do so it could be something like that where just that month it's, it's hard they're not as available or they're not as communicative um, and not as connected uh, with people as they normally would be so they could just be super busy or they could be taking a break from from things a little bit it's, uh, yeah, busy. They're going to be like really busy. So maybe they're not as uh, available to the fans as socially as normal, but I think there'll be a lot of work performance probably. Yeah, not much new, not anything like new. Like I don't think, uh, I think the month before they probably had more opportunity for releasing new material. So December is more like uh, just pushing it out there and getting things ready. So come back right before award season seems like probably would be very tiring and, and busy for them. So maybe there's something like that. But that's what I have 
for Stray Kids for the month or for the year of 2023. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, uh, there was a delay in it the last week. Like I said, my apologies for that. We we could have had probably one more. I really wanted to do one more. We'll see if I have enough time next weekend to maybe squeeze in the last one, but I can't make any promises. Either way, thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you guys are having a great uh, new year. I know Lunar New Year just passed uh, when I'm recording this. So again, Happy New Year. I wish you guys all the best in 2023. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we're going to do it again in a whole nother year. We're going to keep going. So uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hang out and keep tabs with that notification bell. And I'll see you guys again really, really soon, okay? Mwah.